What's up guys, Frost Viking 9 here and today I'm going to show you a nice money glitch on Witches 3 The Wild Hunt. So there's a couple of them currently um, available on uh, YouTube but um, I'm finding it um, a bit frustrating um, because they're not explaining it too well. So I thought well I'm going to give it a try. This is currently available on the PS4 and uh, Xbox One and I think on the PS4 as well. So what you want to do is go onto your map and then basically go to the top section of your map. And I think it's Valen or Novograd. I'm not sure because if I go to the world map, I can't see. But it's a big city on top of the map. So um, for anyone that's already been there, you can use the fast travel to get there. But for um, the guys that have, haven't been there yet, I'm going to show you how to get there. Now, there's, as you can see on the map, uh, there's one route there where... I already have the fast travel available because I've already been there. But if you haven't, basically, um, I'm spawning in here. I'm just going to show you. Just make a waypoint close to the bridge and you will just run all the way here or take your uh, trusty steed with your roach and just drive, uh, well, just ride all the way here. Okay, then, as soon as you get to this point, um, currently the gates are open for me because I already have a pass. You will see the gates in the back will be locked for you if this is the first time you're here. So currently it's open with all these villagers standing there. Okay, so what you want to do is go and talk to this guy here. And I would prefer you actually bribe him and he will give you information. Then you will head over to this guard here and he's got a side mission to um, that you have to basically kill one of the nearby creatures to get a pass. Or otherwise, um, uh, there's one villager that usually is uh, posted here. Uh, you can buy a forged pass from him. That's what I did. Um, it's about a hundred um, coins for it, but as soon as you buy it, then the gates will open for you and you can just basically run by. So as soon as you, you can choose either one. You can um, either purchase one for hundred, hundred, or you can do a side quest for him, then he will give you a discount, or you can just do one for the guards. Okay, so as soon as you open the gates, then um, go back to your map again, and then go to the city, and then just scroll upwards. You will see the city is, well, it's actually a very large city, but you will see in the center there's uh, one marketplace. So put your way market there, um, like I'm showing you in the map now. It's basically the only open spot on the map. And then, yeah, then just basically take your um, horse out for a ride. Um, I'm not going to skip the spot. I'm actually just fast, uh, doing it in fast motion. So you can actually just see... Um, I took the whole route. It doesn't take long to get there in any case. Um, and didn't get a lot of problems along the way. Just keep off the beaten track and you should be fine. Good to go with this in any case. So as soon as you get to the market plane, if this is your first time, uh, you will notice um, I'm hearing the place now where you're going to find a, a cutscene as well. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. Okay, basically you see these two bonfires. I'm just opening the map again for the guys that didn't notice. It's just zooming out, zooming in, back in again. It's this marketplace where you're supposed to be, and this is where you're going to start with the, the money glitch. So if this is the first time you're here, there's going to be a cutscene here where they actually put people on the stakes and they burn them alive. Um, unfortunately, you have to check that whole thing out before you can continue, but you don't have to interact. You just basically looking at the whole thing so what you do is as soon as you get here just turn to your left if you stand right in front of it you will see these two of these um little huts standing here one with fish and one with sausages there now currently it's dark so the merchant won't be there so just meditate until morning about seven o'clock he's usually there um and here he is i'm calling this guy sausage mcmuffin because as soon as you talk to him, you will see the sausages hanging in the backside. So this is where everything starts happening. Yeah, there's the sausage McMuffin guy. So basically, you want to see what he has to offer. Now, he has two things that you need to buy from him. He's got a shell and then a seashell as well. So basically, what you want to do is just buy both of them. So as soon as you buy them, it's not expensive. Buy both of them and then, okay, well, it's disappeared. Then you back out again, and then you just ask him to show you his um, stuff again. And you will see it will magically reappear again. Now you just keep on buying them, backing out, buying them, backing out. I think you can do this about 10 times over. I'm not sure I didn't count it. 
and then um, you've got a considerable amount of um, seashells with you. Now, just bear in mind, um, at this point, okay, I fast forwarded it, you will see I went back, nothing is there. So what you can do is, if you've got um, enough money and you actually want to continue with this process, you can just basically stop here and meditate for a day. Um, I'm going to show you guys now. I'm just fast forwarding another day. And basically in the same position, just talk to him again and all the seashells will be back again. And then you can buy another set of 10. I think it's 10. Um, I have to go and count, but this is still grind work. So um, it's not a fast uh, money glitch, but it actually works for anyone that just wants a decent amount of uh, money in the beginning. So I'm just basically showing you to get the seashells. Now, as soon as you've got the seashells and the shells, what you want to do is you see the two burning fires. Just walk straight past the two burning fires or on your left and your right hand side and you will see here uh, it's uh, the symbol for a blacksmith so basically you just walk up to the sky it's not the prettiest fellow here but it's actually a decent uh, blacksmith and he can craft a lot of stuff for you in any case so what you want to do is basically you want to ask him to craft you something specifically well you're not going to craft anything you can if you have all the parts and stuff but you want to go to dismantle that's the main thing so what you want to do is now you will see he will charge you one coin for dismantling everyone. So you want to dismantle all of your press X on the PS4 in any case. Just dismantle all the shells and the seashells and they will turn them into white balls and black balls. So I've got the white balls now. I'm doing the black balls. This it's cost you 100 bucks basically. You can sell them actually back to him if he's got decent amount of money. Um, I'm not going to do it in this section, but you can do it. Um, the, the majority of the money, money is definitely not here. So as soon as everything has been dismantled, you just pardon, well, say thank you and just be on your way again. Now, this is where the, the real money comes in. You need to go and buy uh, Florence. Now, Florence is basically a currency that you can convert back to gold or money or whatever the, the currency is in this game. And I'm going to show you where to do this. Go into your map again and just scroll to the right hand side. Um, I will do this slowly. It's almost at the right edge of the map in any case. So I'm zooming a bit in. Um, pause the video here and just make sure you get the right place. Put a marker down and then it's basically you can. It's not far. You can um, you can call your horse or just run there. So basically, run Witcher, run all the way. It's actually. Um, you're getting some uh, exercise as well with this whole process. Um, but yeah, this is something you can recommend. Okay, well, if you want to do the whole normal grinding work, which is fine, collecting it, but I'm not going to do this the whole time. I just did it basically to see if it works, and it does work. I don't know if they're going to watch patch this, um, but yeah, they will probably. Okay, so as soon as you get to this location, you'll see a couple of jesters or clowns or whatever you call them standing here. And you can see inside there um, is a merchant inside. Now, this guy's name is Loan Shark. Horrible Loan Shark because he doesn't even have decent pants on. But um, that's besides the point. So you want to talk to him, first of all. And then you want to select, um, basically show you what he's got in his inventory. As you can see, I've done this, um, tried it out. The only thing you want to buy is the Florences. It's a bit expensive, but that's why you need the balls in the first hand. So basically, same principles as with the shells and the seashells. Just buy it, back out again, go back in, buy it again, and continue the process. It's also about 10 or 11 times that you can do this. The same principle, if you've got decent amount of money and um, it's not available anymore, you can meditate again in the same room, it doesn't matter, and you will have some more Florences um, the next day in any case. So um, I think I'm not going to meditate now in any case. I don't think I included in this video. It's just basically to uh, give you a broad overview, but you can do this. But you will see every time I buy the Florences, it takes a hell of a lot of money. And you can see the shopkeeper's money is increasing, which is um, a nice thing. That's why we've got the pulls in the first place. So I'm just skipping this part, just showing you I'm buying all the Florences. My money is getting less. He's getting richer. And now you can see uh, there's no more Florences available. And like I said, meditate and it will come back again. But now I've got only 15 uh, grand left and he's got plenty more, but I still have a couple of pills left. So what I want to do is I'm just going to sell all these pills back to him in any case. So 
I bought the Florences and I'm getting my money back in any case with the, the bills in any case. So just sell everything. Um, he's got plenty of, of money as well. And now you will see, um, just with doing this once, I'm sitting with about 13,000 Florences. And then you was just basically back out again. Now this is the part where the big money comes in. So you're just going to pardon your way with him. And then you want to get back to the square again. If you don't know where it is, go into the map again and um, just mark it for yourself. And the beginning, just to get your bearings correctly. So it's marked. And then it's the same thing again. Run, which you run all the way. You can jump around, doesn't matter. And um, just try to get there as quickly as possible. Try not to draw your sword or use any magic or whatever. The people in this town don't uh, tend to like it. Okay, so basically I'm not running straight to where you're supposed to convert the, the Florences. I'm just going to show you, um, basically if you get back to Sausage McMuffin guy, it's on your right hand side. So you want to turn right, you will see two big symbols, um, looks like the Florence coins in any case. And you can click on it and it actually says um, the bank. And this is where you're going to meet, um, looks like Gimli from uh, Lord of the Rings, one of the dwarves. Not sure what's his name. Uh, there is his name in any case. Then you want to talk to him. He's basically, um, you've got a couple of options, but what you want to do is select, uh, you want to convert your, your currency. Convert. Yeah, I'd like to convert some currency. So this happens automatically. What he will do is he will take all your Florences and convert this back into coin that you can use. And I'm going to show you now just with the, the one set I did. And I'm getting about... 40,000 crowns. That's excluding the coins I already have that I bought back from the, the loan shark without any pants on, basically. So, yeah, I hope you guys uh, find this video helpful. And um, if you find a better way, please leave a comment and a like if this will assist you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.